Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Neek, Neek Montana, get over there in Texas. Holla at your people, R.I.P. Hawk, Grip Boys to the end life. Yes, sir. Scooby, man. A.K.A. Scooby Under, man. What it do, bro? Now you in NYC. We man. outside. How, how your NYC trip? Bro? Oh, man, it's been great, bro. Like, this time was like the first time we really got to do some tourists. Right. Activities, you know what I'm saying? We went to see the great Statue of Liberty. Yeah, that was dope. Okay. She's beautiful. I like that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Learn some here, you know, learn something new every day. Okay. We learned the true meaning, but yeah, yeah. been dope, man. We just uh, locked in with my boy Mookie, man. On the visual side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. In front of the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In front of the police. So, <laughs> To our listeners out there and everybody watching, uh, tell us a little bit about the Grip Boys. Uh, I mean, we originated early 2000s, fresh out of high school. Right. Me and my best friend, uh, we started as teenagers. Shit, man, 12 years old. I had a, a neighbor that had a South Park Mexican. He was recording. I was like 12, so I was fast. I saw him recording them, so I was fascinated with studios ever since. So kind of like we was built for it, you know what I'm saying? But we started, met Paul Wall in high school, right. um, had a relationship all the way to we was grown and we started being on the color changing click mixtapes with him and Chameleon there, okay. freestyling. Um, and then like we um, started doing our own early 2001 when we linked up with uh, Gang Face Records, they had Lil O, he was uh, signed to Atlantic at the time right. with the Bag Bag record. And so it was kind of some moment, it was momentum already with that. And then Big Hawk from the school of Click came through. And uh, that was like the early start, you know, when we came in the door, man. It was happening fast. How'd you make up with this guy? How'd well, be retarded? <laughs> He ain't asked you that. Oh, uh, nah. Man, we basically was introduced by a mutual friend when we was in high school. And then uh, we just went from there. Of course, he was always a good, dope, dope MC to me. So uh, we just kicked the shit together for a long time. We was going doing talent shows. We was putting our money together. We was paying like $10, $15. Sometimes we would lose, but then we start winning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we seen Flip freestyle. Like Paul, he was Flip. Yeah. He had like one song on the radio. So Diamonds. you seen basically all the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Kiati, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, we was like that too. So it was like uh, when Paul, he was DJing at Trade Winds. We used to go freestyle. We used to we used to skip the line. Right. And it was on the north side. We south side dudes. Okay. So we wanted it that bad, but we would go in the building. They showed us a lot of love, though. Right. We was up the south side, sunny side, you know, repping our hood. But it, it was just always like um, a lot of love because they love Paul. So seeing he embraced us, it was just different, man. And, man, we put out so many mixtapes and uh, just caught fire fast, man. Now, so start sending. Go ahead, man. Explain to the listeners what Rick was actually. What's the Ghetto reality in Texas, okay. actually, and it it's an acronym. We actually started ourselves, really. Um, me and him sitting in a Bronco, how that '89 Bronco, smoking mm -hmm. regular weed, huh? Joint OJ. Man, I like the joint yeah, OJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we sitting yeah, that shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. like smoking trash OJ weed, Bronco. man. Coming yeah. up with the plot, man. Yeah. But um, this shit was real life, though, like actually took place and this is actually what we manifested from then to where we sitting at now in New York. You get what I'm saying? Right. This came this all first came time from we that. Came to two New guys. York. It's just us. It's just been yeah, us two this whole yeah, time. Yeah, 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 right. Just grinding out. First time we came here was to talk to Steve Rifkin from okay. Universal Motown. Shout out Steve yeah, because we had yeah, we sold seventy five thousand mixtapes. He didn't even know what he didn't know how we was doing it. Like yeah. how y'all got two okay. rap bands? Y'all sitting this we type was like of so independent. That's a, that's a Texas yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Mixtapes. You 
Oh, and you'll yeah. already be doing shows. You'll already be doing yeah, who like you the are. Yeah, like the vehicles, you know? the promo vehicles with our rap, like the night. Riding around in the shit. Yeah. Before the deal, and, and just was like, he was just, some, we had a DVD with videos to every song on a mixtape. Mixtape right. video. That was before you could really get it, you know. You yeah, had like yeah. one video. We had 10. <laughs> so it was just, uh, a, it, was a, it was a fast head start, man. But because, not because, because they could have given them things to anybody, like these people are gravitated towards anybody. Right. We Little really, old we, gave us a game. We had like. Hulk gave us a game. Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had like, our lyrics were complexity. Um, cadence was there early. The lyrics, the, the, the rhyme schemes, like it was just all there, like where like legends like Big Hawk, he wanted to do records. It went from us, like, dang, we, we hang around. We was like, man, I want to ask Hawk to jump on something, but shit, we he just, we just played up. our role. Yeah. And then it was just like, man, I'm going to use that on this, and I need y'all on my mixtape. So that's how we knew how dope we was. That's what I'm saying by these artists that sold 100,000. We was young. Already. Bro. We didn't even know what we was doing with records, man. And then, well, that's how it usually starts, though. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? That's how you really get on. You don't yeah. really be like, yeah. you're just doing you know, something. You're trying to do it. You're trying yeah, to get, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're trying, trying to, to get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know and then we so. just really didn't ever really plan. We just cared about Texas. We never really thought, like, bro, we from the south side of Houston. Right. We ain't, we just wanted to freestyle like how the, they were doing on the street tape. Yeah, but the thing about, the thing about where you're at is yeah. you can make a living and be cool. You go platinum. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me like, you know. Yeah. You, you go, you sell a you million tapes. I was just funny. telling them that like you a You sell a million like, tapes in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You could like, you could literally go get platinum in Texas. from us till we 50 years old. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, it's just the way what you doing, it's like, I don't, you know, I don't have to have a record. I just have emotion. They gonna want to work with you. And the seeds you we already even did so much, so it'd be like, you know, uh, I'm a hustle out for it to the end. But we went from work, doing stuff like that to working with big artists. Man, oh, so what? The second time we came and did MTV, right? You know what I'm saying with uh, Cypher Sounds. Right. Cypher I was like 22 then, man. So you've been coming back and forth to New York. Yeah. This is like not a new occurrence. Nah, it's not new, man. And then he was Paul Hype Man, Paul Walk. So, uh, so you've, he, been, you've, been on, you've been around, you've been yeah, going yeah. on tours and shit. <laughs> it get ugly, but. Um, how, how, how'd that happen? How'd you become Paul Wall's Hype Man? Actually, um, writing records for him, basically riding around the car with him, writing records for him. Riding around town with him. Um, actually, first time I went on the road with him was at the Lil John we went situation. To, yeah, yeah, no, we went with T.I. No, probably that time, but I'm saying that I went on, on the, out of town. The Gangsta Grill? Yeah. Okay. So, um, first time I went, he got a call for Lil John's Grill, correct? Right. So, you got to understand this. I'm, in my mind, I'm like, why are we finna ride to Atlanta right now for a $400 grill? But his mind, he's thinking, I'm finna go ride to Atlanta for this $400 grill, and but look, Lil John, how many people he's gonna tell who I done this $400 grill? Right, it works. If he tells shit works. 30 other people I did a $400 grill, we used to, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To, like, that's what we learned but, from Paul. Yeah, the hustle. Like, the real yeah. hustle, like, to get down and, like, you get that call and you're gonna go. You right. know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's go get that. I'm yeah, I'm getting to pull that. up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. It, it came ahead. natural. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even from from the little old, from the hog, it yeah. came natural. Yeah. Like you're gonna go sell that CD. You're gonna go sell that verse. You're gonna go. You're gonna go yeah. out there and sell twenty thousand mixtapes. What do you need to do? What we gotta do? Yeah. This is what we gotta do. And, and then, we only have this. That's the thing with now how they got the streams like. When you gotta rock up on an actual person and they get them actually going sell yourself, money, right? But y'all got real fans. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference between these guys now. They got yeah. the streaming fans. But we had to yeah. build that. We had to run up on people yeah. like, yo, build this is who I am. Problem. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. So this is who I represent. Yeah. Then, yeah. then it, it went from sense. us selling it to the store selling it. Oh, right. To 
and other people, people other are the state and city. You feel what I'm saying? The same with the same essence that we're selling it. Yeah. Right. Word of mouth is the best, the best advertising that you can get. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're doing all this, right? Right. You got clothing out also, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. We got clothing <laughs> out. Who's, um, who's, the, who's, the, who's the creator of the clothing? Who said, let's make clothes? I mean, we always kind of had merch. Nah, he's the biggest guy for real. We had the Grit Boys shirts when we was, you know what I'm saying, like on the road and stuff. But as far as making it instead of merch, because it's merch. We got merch and we got clothes. This is clothes. It's stitched up. You know what I'm saying? It's good material. Actual uh, process, yeah. And now it's actually in two stores. So now we ain't got it out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard us to keep inventory like that because... We could pull up and everybody getting everything. That, that's the, that's it's a good thing. Trump, yeah, I yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know, but <laughs> it's kind of like, it's, you Church. don't have to ride around where they ask and we got to stop everywhere. So yeah. put it in one spot, the store with the mannequin. Right. Like we even graduated. Like we got the sports mannequin, the real yeah. deal joint with the rug, the custom rug come from the UK. I got the uh, we got shit together, grit little bit. Boy. you know what I'm saying? We've been doing it years. Grit boy over there, like we got shit built where we can put the clothing in there and we can sit back and chill. You know what I'm saying? Something. He was talking about, you know, how the grit boys became everything, the clothing. So you know, just how you evolved yeah. running around Houston. Yeah. So now we get to, you know, what's up with the music? When is, when is, you know, these albums, like, are we getting a new Grit Boys album? What are we doing? Well, I just released one in April, uh, D. Coleman 3. Right. of a series. Like, I got several series. I got the Audacity, Best New D. Coleman 3. For the fans, you know what I'm saying? But they, allegedly, is it says it's my best one. And I think it, too. It's my best body of work. Why do you think it's your best body of work? Because... I actually like live life while I was recording. Like I wasn't like planning on putting out nothing. I just woke up one night and dropped it, and then let it get legs on it. You know what I'm saying? And as we shoot the visuals, it go, like you know, we learn to be patient where we from, man. Right. We gonna work it and drop something else and still. And then they double back and get on. You know what I'm saying? They always gotta play catch up with us. Cause right. We rap so much, but I think it's my best because I was able to utilize my production side of expertise like I, like I usually when they send a beat I write the record but this time I picked parts of the beat that I wanted and arranged it myself right. I may mean, took the violins and I ain't rap on the drums to the hook right. and on the verse I may rap on the piano just you know, all piano kind of right. like Andre do with certain instruments right 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 I don't want no drums so you I the want record. them to hear me because I feel like you know I'm from the south and then I'm lyrical so it's already a barrier where they, I'm country, so, but I'm intelligent also, so. Right. I, but I want them to hear me exactly the punchline and triple, quadruple tundras I'm setting up, you know what I'm saying? I'm right, really right. still into that. That's yeah, what yeah, makes yeah. me want to rap. We want to hear bars. Yeah. You know, you're giving that, that's what it, yeah. us up here at the East Coast, we want to hear bars. We always, you know, we, yeah. we bring it back to bars, so. Definitely, when the beat is cut out, you definitely yeah. can hear the bars on like some kind of Griselda kind of type yeah. vibe. You see how Sauce Walker fooled him? He right. came with the you know Sauce what I'm Walker. Yeah. He's one day he we and and, <laughs> and, I, and but and, my boy, I've been knowing him since a kid, man. He been correct. But I but I but I always okay. say to people when when he come to New York, Philly, yeah. and he perform and he freestyle. Yeah. We respect, yo, we, we give him, that nigga. They, we be like, yo, he's an animal, yeah. he's an animal. He was riding around you know jamming grit boys. Right, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Hey. niggas can rap, bro. All he's them. super dope, you know what I mean? All of them. He jam lyrics, bro. You feel me? So, so, question, question for you guys. If, if you wasn't doing this, right? Yeah. If you wasn't doing the rapping shit, what would you be doing? I think, because, like, in high school, I was designing our album cover. I'd be into, like, computers or, like, editing uh, commercials or maybe. I'd be doing what you're doing. Like, I really like film and pictures. And, right, like some behind-the-scenes type yeah. shit. Yeah, and then I think I'd probably still doing clothes. Like, I always, was always uh, creative. You're the fashion so, designer guy. Uh, no. We need Grit Boys I, fashion show up here for like Fashion Week. That'd like, be dope. But that'd be dope. Yeah, but right? you know what's the crazy part good. about him? <laughs> like this dude, like he was wearing like Versace, had a Rolex, like 
2016. And okay. Having, like, you, you, you know been flexing. He been, like, Armani and Versace Chain and, you know what I'm saying, before, like, him and Flip was the only motherfuckers had the new joy. Like, he been that dude. Like, he right. doing from that. So, I think, like, the... Uh, like the egg theory, man. We all one person. We all. Right. And so the energy brings these yeah. people together to Talk finish to the us, job. Cool. And bring you Talk into to the us, go. Cool. The lady is watching. The energy. And we all watching. going right, through right. one Talk to tunnel, baby. <laughs> and so it's like, yeah. You're speaking facts, though. Yeah. Yeah. Shit go. I'm not surprised about today or any of the events that's going to occur right. after this. And we in New York yeah. right now. <laughs> now, now you know, you got a lot of artists running around Houston, up and coming artists. You guys have been doing it for a while. What would you tell an up and coming artist that's in Houston if he asked you guys for some guidance? What would y'all? What would be the first them thing niggas, you told him? Believe in yourself. But look, they so self. Believe in yourself bro. and spend your money on like, yourself. In Houston, telling them is them just watching us operate. That's how we tell them. They watch us, watch our mistakes, watch our. So basically, it's like, yo, wins. I'm gonna show you. What they you can just watch it's a hustle, but spend because your money on yourself. Big. If you believe in something, yeah. spend your money on it. Right. Because that's so, what's going to get you to do. Like, spend your money, put them. your money where your mouth yeah. is. If you believe in something, you spend your money right. on it and you work on it. Like, we the you work on yourself. We own you know what I'm saying? We own the right. we, yeah. own. we spend all the money. We, we do the accounts, we do everything. We do, we believe in yourself, it'll work for you. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's just how it Okay. Now, look. In every interview I do, I always ask a hypothetical question. So answer it as best as you can. Yes, sir. All right? Yeah. So let's say, yo, we're in New York, right? Yeah. Shit starts hitting the fan. It's chaos through the city. But somebody hits you and say, yo, Grip Boys, man, look, come through, grab a couple albums. You can grab three albums. What three albums are you going to grab to rock out? Because there ain't nothing going to be after this. Me? Go first. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. You, go first. you can go first. Whoever, whoever. I'm going to go first. Illmatic. Yeah. That's one. I'm gonna go Fat Pat Ghetto Dreams. Okay, that's two. And then I'm gonna go In My Lifetime, Volume 3. Mm, man. Classics. What you and gonna then do? I'm gonna rock right there. I'm gonna go 50 Cent The Massacre. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go Jodeci Diary. Oh, man, Mad bad. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's good. Gotta have a lot of, of, of hits on <laughs> that. Yeah, you gotta have Just the culture, they, everybody was dressing like them boys. I didn't even think about that. Right. Think about the Jodeci, the uh, the boots. Yeah, and the, 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 the denim jackets. Man, boys was dressing like them boys. I got one more, though. Hold on, let me see. I got one more. I got one more. Um, and I'm going to go with T.I. Trap Music. Okay. No, I take that back. I'm, I'm on some bullshit. What? I gotta go. I gotta go with Michael. Where you going with? I gotta go with Killer Mike. Michael. Mike Jones. Mike. No, Michael. Oh. Killer Mike. Killer Mike. Killer yeah. Mike. Oh yeah, Michael. yeah. You gotta go. The Killer whole, Mike. not just because it's my man, but just the whole project, from top to bottom. Right. Like, awesome. I, I was thinking about from you know, production back, to previous, now when I'm vocals thinking, to yeah. So Mike, awesome. That was an awesome Diary project. Of a man, man. man. What I said the first one. What I said the first. Oh. You said uh. Damn. Okay. We got it on there though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael though, go get that Michael though. Go get that Humble me Mike. too. Yeah. New album out too. Friday. Yeah. Go get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So look, man. Shout your Instagrams out. Where to follow you at? Where to get this good merch and all that other stuff before we get out of here. Mm. At Grip Boys. At Nikki dot Montana, at Scooby underscore Grip Boys, at Good Business Merch. Yes sir. Yes sir. Mm, just sometimes I'll be back and forth. Big at Hawk School for Young. life. Okay. Either one, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to. Uh, man, shout out to you doing, guys, man. Everything you're doing, your platform. Shout out to music. Hype City, you feel me? Shout out to doing definitely. what we love. Definitely, man. Making money off what we love doing. And, and, and I always tell you guys, send me the music. You know I'm playing it, you know what I mean? With it, bro. Thanks for having us. So, it's yeah, all love. Thank you for, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Pulling up. Hit yeah, me up, pulling up. Pull I appreciate it. Man, I appreciate it. Now, right. now I got to return the favor and pull up on y'all. Yeah. yeah. You come to the house, bro. Come to the house, bro. Come on over there, man. Come on, you feel love.
So for myself, Jersey Gliss, yeah. the Grip Boys, NYC, Great. we about to go have fun, man. We out yeah. here, yo. Let's do yeah. that.